Nothing can change the character of a room quicker and easier than a fresh coat of paint. Whether you like traditional or contemporary styles, painting the interior walls of your favorite space can really add dynamic appeal. Here are the products we'll need. Drop cloths, blue painter's tape, a two and a half inch angled paintbrush, shed resistant paint rollers, a roller tray, a small ladder or step stool, a flathead screwdriver, stir sticks, and of course, the paint. Remember to consult with your local Benjamin Moore retailer to find out the amount of paint and specific finishes you'll need for your project. Hi, I'm Sharon Grack, a color designer on behalf of Benjamin Moore. I've already prepped the space for painting, and now I'm going to take you through the techniques to successfully paint the interior walls of your home. For this room, I have selected the Regal Collection in a flat finish. There are many benefits of using Benjamin Moore paint, including easy application, durability of the finish, and color that will last for years. When you're choosing the type of paint for your space, it's important to think about the finished look that you want. Traditionally, we use a higher sheen paint for the trim and doors, like a semi-gloss, and then for the walls, we'll use a less reflective finish, like an eggshell or a matte. And for the ceilings, we mostly use the least reflective finish available. So now, it's time to paint, so let's get started. Using a screwdriver, open the can and stir the paint thoroughly with a stir stick. You want to make sure the paint is adequately mixed to get the exact color that was intended. Also, it's important to look at the instructions on the paint can for specific requirements for that type of paint. Next, pour some of the paint into your tray. Be sure to clean up the lip of the can so it's easier to reseal later. The process to painting this, or any other wall, is a combination of painting the edges of the wall with a brush and filling in the larger areas with a roller. The first thing we're gonna do is load the paint brush, just like this. The key is to get enough on. You don't want too much that it's dripping, but you want enough that you don't have to keep reloading. Now I'm using an angle sash paint brush. This is so I can cut in really easily for my first strokes on the wall. Cutting in is a fancy way of saying laying a stripe along the edges of the room. When cutting in the edges, move the brush from the dry area back into the freshly painted areas. This will help keep an overall smooth coverage of paint and will help to avoid brush marks. If you happen to get paint on another surface, use a damp rag to remove it before it has time to dry. Once a small area is cut in with the brush, it's time to start rolling while the edges are still wet. To start, begin by moving your roller into the paint, then move the roller back and forth in the tray along the ridges to remove the excess paint. Once the roller is loaded, start by working the paint into the wet edge of the wall. Next, make a W pattern working out from the wet area. Now fill in the W by working across from the wet area into the dry. This will help distribute the paint evenly. Once you've filled in the area that you created with your first cut in, start cutting in the next area. Remember to work in small enough areas so the edges do not dry before rolling. Continue this process until your wall is done. If you have to stop your painting project midway, it's a good idea to protect the paint from drying on your roller and in your tray. So you can just wrap it tightly with a grocery bag or even some plastic wrap. Once you've painted the entire room and it's dry, you'll want to inspect the walls to see if you need an additional coat. Benjamin Moore recommends a second coat to get the most optimal coverage. So we're going to get to that right now. If you choose to paint a second coat, repeat the steps that were used for the first coat. Then move on to the final step, removing the painter's tape before the wall dries completely. Wow, the room is finished and it looks just great. So now it's time to enjoy this fantastic new space.